if you're the Cowboys, you got to prioritize who you want. And it's always going to start with the quarterback. That's number one. I think Dak Prescott has earned the right to get a new deal that puts him at or near the top of the market. Now, who do you prioritize when it comes to CeeDee Lamb or Michael Parsons? Both are really, really good players, guys. We're splitting hairs right now. But if it's me, I'm going to put Michael Parsons above CeeDee Lamb. I think it's been proven a couple times in this league that if your quarterback is good enough, you can win without the premier wide receiver. I think Kansas City proven that uh, last, uh, the last couple years. But if you're Dallas and you have one of the generational talents on the defensive side of the football in Michael Parsons, you got to take care of that guy. I don't think they can win without Michael Parsons. I think there's a world that exists where if they have to choose between Parsons and CeeDee Lamb, they can win without CeeDee Lamb. So if it were me, gentlemen, this is really, really easy. Dak Prescott is probably number one. Michael Parsons is probably number two. And CeeDee Lamb, although he is a really, really good player, probably a top 10 receiver, on this team, the way it's currently constructed, he would be number three for me. What the hell is wrong with you, man? I, I mean, I love you. I love you to death, Booker. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Dak Prescott, $60 million. That's my last priority. He is the last priority on the list. I want that man to come to the negotiating table, sticking out his chest, acting like this is what he deserves. Well, the market says this, and I'm this, and I'm that. Yeah. Until January rolls around, I'm looking at you with eight full years as my quarterback, and I got two <laughs> playoff victories to show for it. Two. Okay? Now, yeah. last time I checked, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, Super Bowl champions. I'm talking to Super Bowl champions here. That's what I'm talking about. See, this is the beauty of first take. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I'm brilliant because I know I'm not. I just steal from brilliance. I'm talking to Super Bowl champions here, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong because my math might be a little bit off. But if you're a wild card team, you got to win at least four games in the postseason to win the Super Bowl. And Correct. if you are a division champion, you got to win at least three. Correct. In one season, Correct. one postseason to win a Super Bowl. I'm talking to two Super Bowl champions. It's, I'm looking right at you, Booger McFarlane, okay? <laughs> and I'm saying, yo. Yes. You got to win three Super you got to win three playoff games to win a Super Bowl in one year. This brother has managed to win two in eight years. He has never been to a conference championship game. He has never been to a Super Bowl. And that brother is going to come to me demanding $60 million? I mean, please, I would give anything yeah. to be in Jerry Jones' chair on that negotiation. You got to be crazy. And please, he's the last priority. Micah Parsons and C.D. Lamb should be taken care of before Dak. So, guys, we have to stop because I'm guilty of this also. Stop equating what a guy is making based on his success in the postseason because there's only one winner every year. We have to stop doing that because if you look around sports, there are a lot of guys that make a ton of money in sports that haven't won championships, that haven't won playoff series in basketball, that haven't I'll won games. Up. But we want to equate – we, we want to go with that. We want to do this with Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has played eight seasons, and we want to say because he's played eight seasons, Seasons. He's only got a couple of playoff wins that Dak Prescott cannot make top of the market money. And that's false. I used to fall into that category. The market dictates what you are paid. And Dak Prescott, right now, if he plays next year out, he will be an unrestricted free agent. And you're telling me, whether it's the Cowboys or not, somebody's not going to give him $60 million? I think that is that is so false, Steve Nate. Oh, if oh, he oh, hits oh. the market as a free agent, he's going to get $60 million a year, whether we think he deserves it based on playoff success or not. I don't like to say, I don't like to say deserve. I like to say earn. But for me, it comes, yeah. down, to, it comes down to this, book. I'm looking at Micah, and I'm looking at CD, and they're going to be saying, and you know you've been in locker rooms, Booger. You know what's going to happen if they give Dak Prescott two contracts before either one of them get a second contract. It's going to be some problems. It's going to be some problems, Booger. You know how it works. We, we pocket watch. We do. We just do. <laughs>